Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at cheaters getting caught. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. I think so. I remember your face, I don't remember what I asked. I nine times. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, nah, you had pink lipstick. Yes. I'm so used to seeing that, so that's why I was like... I'm back now. Back? You had, you had to see me? Yeah, I can't get my She want me, she want me. Maybe a hot to us? Nah, if you want to give me hot tool, then we can talk about that. But. Yo, I'm dating someone new, so no. Nah. Dating somebody new? How serious is it? No. Who knows? I'm just kind of vibing, you know? Okay. It's just what it is, what it is. Well, I'm trying to vibe too, so like. like Yo, shut up, Do you find me attractive? I can make. Here and I have a huge. You say you're a nip. Yeah. You see? No, I'm not gonna show you. My boyfriend's behind me. I beg your pardon. Well, yeah. until it gets too serious, let me get your number. I know your your little boyfriend. He's waiting, but send me up. Huh? All right, back. Let's go. Oh my God, you're so hot. All right, All thank right. you. Love you. At least you're honest. Oh my God, he's in his bag. Oh. You just don't want to put up with someone this disrespectful, let alone date them. And the fact that she's saying all this with her boyfriend standing right there, the nerve is unreal. Yo, what's, yo, what you doing? Are you serious, bro? Yo, nah, open the door. Open the door. Roll the, ro hey, roll the window down, bro. Roll the window down, man. Roll the window down, bro. Bro. And she shit, she got somebody else driving my car. She got somebody else driving my car, bro. What is this? What's like what's really going on, bro? She got somebody else in my car. Uh, oh, she got another dude driving my car. You got me fed up, yo. Open this door, man. Hey, bro, what's up, bro? Open the door, bro. Nah, 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 man. Open the door, man. Open the door, man. Hold on, bro. Open the door, man. Nah, man. Open the door, man. Nah, man. Nah, man, open the door, man. I need to talk to you, bro. Hey, you need to get up out the car, man. What you talking about, bro? Bro, you need to get up out the car, bro. Yeah, I don't know nothing about what you Listen, why you in my car? Why you all style like you in my, like you, like you, like it's your whip? Oh, man, bro, get out my car, bro. And I can't believe you, like you seriously, like roll the man, window down, bro. Been folded already, like. Bro, roll the window down, man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm just trying to talk to you, man. Hey, bro, let me just talk to you, bro. Cheating is one thing, but in your husband's car, I don't know what I'd be more mad at. Someone cheating with my girl or having another man drive my ride. Officers responded to a call of a drunk woman throwing up in a hotel lobby bathroom. The woman was kicked out of her room by her boyfriend after he caught her cheating. She punched him in the mouth, but he doesn't want to press charges. Hi. Sorry. Who is boyfriend? Chad? What's the problem? Again. Again. Because I got sick in the bathroom and I was just wanting because uh -huh. you know you know I was drunk. Yes. So you I still sick. are. Yes. I got I have not drank anymore. Mm -hmm. I got sick in the bathroom mm -hmm. when I got here. And I just lay down on the floor. And I was just okay. going to sleep. You, in the bathroom because they want no, it. Because I'm too, in Florida. Here's the, here's the problem we have. You're too drunk to be in public, okay? We I'm tried not. we tried giving you an out to get an Uber to get home, and you re, you refused that and walked away and tried to make things right here, but now you're causing a disturbance in the hotel, so you are going to be placed under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Cheats, throws a punch, and then gets arrested? Talk about a self-inflicted downfall. Let this be a lesson to never let someone walk all over you. And watch how karma handles the rest. Alright, if I were him, I'd be conducting a paternity test right away. Cause either he's got some wild genetics, or I pray that those kids are adopted. And, well, there's the most obvious answer with the mom as well. Alright, for context for this multi-part story, this guy has an absolutely crazy ex. There's an entire TikTok account dedicated to showing this guy's story and this ex stalking him. She is absolutely nuts. Guys, I just got off work, bro. It's 5 in the morning, I work graveyard, and my ex is literally here, bro. Look, there's a security right here, and that's her car leaving right now, bro. Look at that. 
That's her license plate, right here. This is my, this is her, bro. Dude, I just got a Fucking weirdo, psycho, pulling up to my job and But hold up, there's more, cause she keeps following him. I'm dead ass being fucking followed. You see that car right there? Yeah, that's my ex's car right in there. And she still tries to block him in and sit there and record him like he's doing anything wrong. Lady, you're following him! Look at this. She's blocking my car. Look at this. Look at this. You're blocking my car. You're blocking my car. You are blocking my vehicle and stalking me. Leave me alone. You are stalking me. You just showed up at my job at 5 in the morning. I'm tired. Go away. Dude, you're insane. How did, how did you find my job? Dude, get away from me. Get away from me. Dude, this is literally... Dude, I'm bro. I'm gonna one day, bro. This is literally insane. Dude, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with her, bro. Okay, I'm gonna keep this recorded. I don't know what the I'm gonna do, but I need this to get out of the way. And she, look, she's trying to open my door, bro. You see that? Look at this. Look at this. It's literally insane. This is insane. This is literally insane. Dude, I'm literally, look at this. I'm literally shaking. Like, I can't even do anything about this. That's how crazy she is, dude. I don't even know what to do anymore. That's her car. That has to be her car. It was leaving, look. Yeah, that's her. That's her. That's, that's her. her car. And just to top this story off, there's videos and videos of these lists of texts that he's gotten, her admitting to stalking and doing just weird things. And then he finally got a restraining order on her with proof of documentation. People in this generation are insane. What's your age? 23. Are you single? I'm in a relationship, but shorty keep playing with me right now. Well, how long you been with her? Four months now. So how is she playing with you now? She talking about she outside right now, but I'm outside too, as you can see. So we're going to see what she on. What do you mean she's outside? She just sent me a text and said she outside. So if she really outside, I'm outside too. She went out without you? She was in Vegas. I tried FaceTime her. She ain't answer. I said, all right, bet. It's cool. I'm going to let you rock. I'm going to do my thing. Then she want to text me and say she outside. So if you outside, I'm outside too, sweetheart. It's cool. Don't even worry about it. So what's your game plan after tonight? My game plan is to forget. We drinking. We outside. We in Scottsdale. We having a good time. I'm going to do my thing. And if a shorty comes up to you and says you're cute? It's been happening. Do you escalate it or do you take a step back out of respect for your relationship? I'm not going to hold you. It depends what she look like. This is a clear signal to move on and enjoy the night without the drama. Life's too short to stress over someone who can't commit. It's an evil world we live in. Ouch, right in front of her boyfriend? Keep your head up and walk away from someone that's clearly for the streets. You asked Miss Gray, have you had any physical or contact with a customer that purchased you diamond earrings for your birthday. What did the polygraph reveal? Polygraph examination revealed there was deception indicated to that question. Oh, okay. What kind of physical or contact have you had with this gentleman? None. You said the gentleman who gave you the diamond earrings is a regular customer. So this gentleman that gave you the earrings, have you ever talked to him about the difficulties you all are having? I might have mentioned it. Okay. Well, let me just tell you, that's a dangerous game. Not because, folks, you can give people the roadmap to your heart and not even realize it. And it all starts with a pair of diamond earrings. Every kiss begins with a. <laughs> Look at her getting caught lying in court and all, proving that women will sell out loyalty for a bit of sympathy and a shiny gift. So yesterday, I called my girlfriend using my friend's phone. 
And when she answered, she was like, Hi, baby. <laughs> she knew it was me. <laughs> Guys, true love exists. Is he really convincing himself it's true love because she recognized him? Denial at its finest. Couldn't Lakari be of your hometown to see if your dude was gonna cheat? You knew he was a cheater and you saw if all will see if he was gonna cheat. Girl, I did that deal. That hometown is a sad place to be in if she's the Cardi B there. And did she just call herself a This girl getting kissed and getting grabbed like that for acting is a prime example of blurred boundaries. If you want respect, don't allow yourself to be a pawn in someone else's play. Women accusing men for cheating when they're out is just them projecting themselves. I ask you guys if you trust each other, you guys trust each other? Yeah. yeah. You guys do trust each other? Yeah. The only girl, she's the only guy in the picture? Yeah. He's the only guy in the picture? Yes. I'm gonna switch phones for 60 seconds to see you guys actually oh, trust each other. Oh, question, huh? We're trying to go uh, for it. We're walking away. I have no problem. I'll switch phones. Yeah, we can switch phones, but I don't know. It's not gonna be that exciting, so, I promise. Yeah. Talk a little bit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Messages and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. I'm gonna bro. go to DMs. DMs on Instagram. Make sure everything is looking good, bro. You're the only guy in the picture. Bunch of girls. Who's that? Mm. You look amazing. Oh, look amazing. oh. that oh. is not good. Is that? No, yo. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yo, it's all right. It's all good. How oh, about if we go through your phone? Your phone won't have stuff like that, and you won't be grabbing your phone away like that. You can see what I, I know. You won't be grabbing your phone away, walking away, and stuff like that. She has another guy on her phone telling her she looks amazing. I have a couple of guys. Yeah, but got... you you responded back, you went hard in the messages. I, you were looking for drama, but uh, it's... <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. Well, have a good one. There's not an ounce of shame visible on her face. This interviewer just saved the guy from wasting his time dating an unloyal woman. It was already a giveaway seeing how hesitant she was switching phones. So she's trying to buy her boyfriend off with a PlayStation 5 after cheating on him? Nice try, but respect and trust aren't things you can just buy back. Imagine being the husband, watching your wife look at another man with those eyes. Are you sure they've only been practicing all these years? Would you take your man back if he cheated on you? It depends. It depends on how he cheated. Yeah, I would actually. Yes, I would. If he just smashed, I'll take him back. Yes. Hell yeah, because I'm cheating. I beg your pardon? The only reason they'd take him back is because they've got a guilty conscience themselves. They're just sneakier, so women get caught less. I know you're kind of like financially struggling, right or wrong? No, no, you're right. No, I, um, yeah, no, I've been working a lot, like 50 hours a week, minimum wage, and it's just not enough. And honestly, like, that's why I'm, like, still with Carlos, like, because... Because he supports you financially. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, she's like planning on this. When I listen to this, 
make videos with me and I'll send it to like my people's DMs and I'll give you 50% off of whatever they pay for it. I'm sorry, not 50% off, I'll give you half a cut. Okay, I have questions about that before I give you a solid yes. All right, what questions do you got? What, what would I have to do? Oh, the crazy thing is that she's interested. Like that shouldn't even be happening to be honest. Bro, she just said that, what do I have to do? That's what I'm saying, bro, that's some bull It's not gonna be no weak stuff, it's gonna be like stuff like what I, like what I just showed you. Like I'm like kind of stuff. <laughs> Pretty much like that. Like that. I've never done anything like that before. On camera? Well, it's always the first, right? <laughs> and we, will we be using or... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> it's the fact that we're still watching this She failed five minutes ago. Using her man because she's broke and making videos with his best friend, time to drop that dead weight and find someone who knows what loyalty actually is. Name something you share with your best friend. Girlfriend. A girlfriend. <laughs> Welcome to Montana. <laughs> All right, someone has some wild pastimes, but now you gotta ask if they're really your best friend if they're taking your girl. Cheat for a hundred dollars? Uh, Probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I would. I'd never want to get I cheated on. I wouldn't want to be the one getting cheated on. That's like embarrassing. So you would cheat for a hundred dollars though? Yeah, I want that cash. Yeah. I don't care. hundred dollars is better than having a weird boyfriend. A hundred dollars is a hundred dollars. I can say less. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah. They wouldn't want to get cheated on, but they'd do it for a hundred dollars? It's so funny how women can't even comprehend the hypocrisy they put on display. Well, one of my guys and all that, he was dealing with this chick. This chick cheated on him and the girl decided to sleep with one of the ops. Bro found out, bro told us, so we followed Shorty to his apartment, let them do the do and all that, and ironically enough, one of our guys was a maintenance man in that motherfucking complex. She going on a girl trip the whole time she out in Puerto Rico with Buddy. Called bro up to work maintenance, said we about to run through Buddy's apartment. About 15 of us. Bro opened that fucking apartment, we took everything out that motherfucker. When I say everything, we took the food out the cabinets, emptied the refrigerator, took the washer and dryer, took his, his clothes, the couches, the trash, took his toilet paper. We didn't leave shit in there. It was like he got evicted, bruh. We took everything. So when he came back and shit, right? And Miss Shorty, bags and hand and all that shit. So we sitting there like, bruh, they about to go in there and just have a heart attack. Good. Whole time they win that motherfucker for it. This nigga starts crying and she go on live calling them all type of it's stupid and a whole bunch of others. Here's the, the part about it. Georgia lived with her moms and shit, right? He wasn't the only one getting robbed. We called up some of the homegirls. The homegirls went up in the mama crib, did the same shit. The outfit she had in that bag is the only outfit she had after a while. The level of pettiness and insanity in this world just keeps going up and up. Dang. Am I the asshole for telling my coworker that his wife isn't that pretty? Yes. I, 25 female, have been at my workplace for almost two years now and get along with most of my colleagues. We regularly go out every other weekend and have activities, which most of our colleagues join in, including my colleague, Max, 33 male. Max is a very outgoing guy, extroverted, and has been at my workplace for the longest as the turnover here is quite fast. I get along well with him and would consider him to be my best friend at work. We share banter, have a good laugh, and have similar extroverted personalities. Max regularly attends the work activities and is the life of the party. His wife of 10 years used to come to the activities sometimes before I joined the workplace but no longer does since having a baby a while back. What really annoys me is how Max always puts his wife on a pedestal. That's his wife. What the <laughs> f <laughs> well, no shit. He always goes on about how she is the best cook and has the best look slash figure he's ever seen. A simple conversation between coworkers regarding which celebrity we fancy would be, quote, nah, man, no one beats my wife in terms of looks. And who would be the best looking in the office? And he says, nah, no one here. I've got really high standards. Have you seen my wife? Hey, <laughs> respect. Some of our colleagues have agreed with him, saying that his wife is gorgeous, but I'm sure they are just humoring him. Someone sounds jelly. <laughs> we were going through each other's videos on TikTok when another coworker commented to Max his wife resembled an anime character. And in brackets, she's slim with long black hair and Asian. So that seems problematic. Uh <laughs> 
I, and I joked that she's not that pretty. Max got offended and retorted that she didn't need fake eyelashes and fake hair to look passable. Boom, and roasted. Understood why I needed them. I got angry and told him to piss off. Since then, Max has not been speaking to me and has made passive aggressive comments. So am I the a- Yeah. Seems like you guys cross the line a lot in your workplace, which is weird. But yeah, you yeah. are the a-. A lot of the <laughs> things could have been bad. Like the playing co- work. This is the perfect example of how women can't bear seeing another woman happy and getting treated the way they want to be treated. She's insecure about her looks, and it's no wonder she's betraying that by trying to put his wife down. Max was having none of that. What's up, Kim? Kim, what are we doing? This is what we doing, Kim? Who are you? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, Kim. Your name Kim, right? Bro, who's this Jasmine, bro? It's my wife. What you, you, Your you wife? Yes. Yeah. Jasmine? Wait, wait. What her name? Jasmine. But you told me your name, Kim. We've been bro. dating for a few months now. Who is this? Oh, this is my husband. Your husband? Yes. Yeah, I see that. I no, see that. Bro, wow, no, I see that no, now. Like, like, so that's what we doing? No, no it's Jasmine, bro. This Jasmine, your wife. Bro, you your wife. Confused. Yeah. Confused? Yeah. Nah, man. No, I was. No. I, I, we've been dating for a few months now. Yeah, yeah, so you learn about you learn about a lot of things now. See, you say you don't do social media. You say you don't security. So that's what you're doing. You calling security on me? But you say you don't do social media. I just found out you had a snap, and you all on Valentine's Day. Come on, with him? You supposed to be with me? You say you don't, but she got a whole snap. That's what we're doing, man. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So you married? Yeah, man. How you married? We were just two days ago. We was together two days. Ain't telling that. We were together two days ago. Juggling a husband, a side guy, and a fake identity? Classic con artist move. You know she probably convinced her husband she's innocent too. Some people are just pros at playing the victim. I charge two fifty, and we supposed we supposed to be saving money. Eighty dollars? Are you really that cheap? Are you really that cheap? Are you really that cheap? Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. We supposed to be saving. It's $80. My haircut don't cost I no $80. I haven't asked you for nothing in months. My haircut don't cost no $80. So what? I'm a woman. I'm supposed to be on point all the time. Why because anybody should be struggling. It should be him. And the exactly. man should be taking care of you. What are you talking about? If, 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 you, if you want to, we can cut the wedding off. Cut the I'm, wedding off? Are yes. you serious? Yes. Cut the wedding off and move on with your life, homie. This is going to show you what your future's like, man. They're actually out here stealing money out of your account that you're supposed to be saving with. Didn't even tell you. You're never going to be able to trust her. You know what I mean? Like, that's it at the end of the day. Men are wiping up red flags. They show you, man. They show you along the journey when you are dating. If this is happening, you move on. You cut the head. You know what it is? What it is? I had a good time with you. It was really nice getting to know you. But I, I just, I can't. I mean, you can't. You, this is not a joke, man. Marriage is not a joke. Dating is not a joke. You move on with your life. Gives you the closest gym you could possibly find and start pumping iron, home. The gym got your back. And I tell you one thing, God has your back. God shows you these things so you don't mess up. He's going, sometimes we're going to, as humans, man, we make bad mistakes. But don't make the biggest one ever by marrying a woman like this, man. Please. Listen to God. Move on with your life. Better yourself. Jim, grind. Just pump iron, man. My man wants to call off the wedding, and that's good on him for catching her red flags. He's out here trying to build a future, and she's busy prioritizing her looks with their money behind his back. Why did she leave you? Uh, she left because she found another man while I was, I was in the military, so I was deployed. While I was deployed, she got pregnant by someone else. It had to be tough. You're overseas and you're serving our country and she ends up with somebody else and she gets pregnant. Yes, sir. I got back. The attorney general's called me and told me, uh, we're, take, we're getting child support from you. I said, I'm already giving her child support. He said, what about for the one in the oven? You say, hey, that's, if she's pregnant, it's not my child. Yes, sir. Um, what, did, what did you say? Um, I was speechless. I was devastated, you know? Like, she's my family, you know? I put, I gave everything for them. Serving your country while she's playing house with someone else? That's a whole new level of betrayal. Stay strong, King. Some people just aren't worth the fight. How long have you been together? Five years. Yeah. 100%? Yeah. Yeah. The relationship been going good the whole five years? I would say so. Anybody yeah. been cheating or anything? I I haven't been cheating of you. No, definitely not. <laughs> Are any of y'all on any dated website? It's been a long time since I've been on Tinder, but no. It's inactive right now, like you deleted it and everything. Oh yeah, mine's not active. So what if I was to tell you there's an app called Cheetah Buster AI where well, all you need is a name, age, location, and a picture of her. And you can see if she's on any damn website to see if it's active. Yeah, I don't know. Would you like to try it out? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just type the name right there. Age, location. Let's get that picture. Let's wait till it load there. Is this her? 
Oh shit! No, I don't. Yeah, that's not me. Somebody else. Did your friend make that for you? He said, "Single, hit me up, ready to mingle." Oh yeah, ready to mingle, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be somebody else. Did use my picture? No, that that's that's her. You can see the look on her face as they were searching her profile up. She knew she got caught, but my man knew it wasn't worth the drama and walked away. Absolute respect. Man, one more thing. Now, you ain't got to, you don't have to, you know, go for it, but why not? If I give you another 500 right now, all you gotta do is give me a kiss. I give you one more $500. That's a whopping $1,500. And all you gotta do is just get one little kiss. Just one kiss. Right now? Right. Listen, it's just, and again, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. I'm just, you know, saying, why not? I feel like the vibe is right. We in the rolls. The atmosphere is sitting right. You getting a good massage. I know you feeling comfortable right now. You know what I'm saying? Just a quick little kiss. You know what I'm saying? He's giving her a choice. It's all on her choice. You know what I'm saying? Just a quick little kiss. You know what I'm saying? What you think? And I give you another five. That's fifteen hundred dollars. Easy, little quick fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nah, bro. Ooh, with the hand. Me. Damn. Okay, then. You got some soft. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> what in, bro? This. Even better. Oh, Call it out. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. On his, on his nose. Wait. What? Yeah. On his nose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's messed up on her face. Okay. I'm gonna bring it up when we down there. These women are out here proving how their loyalty clearly has a price tag. You just know she'd been down to get in bed too if the price was right. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.